All right, everyone, welcome back for another day here with Taco Stacks. Once again, another video. Uh, today is actually storage unit clean out there. I bought a storage unit here for $10. So we'll see how well we did. Uh, there was probably about like 30 units that went for auction. Uh, and I was able to grab one for for 10 bucks. It's a small, I think a five by five uh, and really cool. So uh, we'll see what we found today. Haven't been in the unit yet. It was actually purchased yesterday. So we'll see if we find any treasure. Let's do it. $10, can't beat it. All right. So at this auction, I think they're doing it in sections. So at this auction, I think next time, let me just say next time, I think they're going to do a different area, but this time they had four units sold in this area. So uh, we will scroll. Standing on this thing is not fun. First time ever buying one on these things also. This is why I paid 10 bucks for it. I think I got a good deal, but that is to be decided. And yeah, this is why I paid uh, $10 for. So, um, all right, well, I guess I just step up here. Can't be it. Bins that say sweaters on it. Uh, didn't know how many bins were here, but I think we did all right. So, for $10, let's dig in. Looks to me like it'll probably be a lot of clothes, but maybe we'll find some assorted items as well. All right, it's kind of, wow, you can see me right there. All right, it's kind of like, there's not really much space here and I can't really put the camera in the hallway because, well, there is really no hallway because we're up, up here. Uh, but we'll dig into this. I think we'll probably work with whatever's center focused in the camera. So that'd probably be, what, this bin? I'll probably also move the camera. There we go, maybe I'll do like this stuff. So we have, a jacket. One thing you have to do with all these jackets, this one's made by Kniff Cole. Kniff Cole. This thing probably cost a lot of money new. One thing you always gotta do is check all the pockets. I know Jay said he got a really nice score at the thrift one time because he checked pockets, but you always gotta check pockets. Right, throw it over there. Just try and make some room up here. Looks like another jacket. This one, I have no idea about it. It's fur. Fake fur. Okay. So, mystery bag. I feel like you're always good for one or two purses in these storage units. That'd be your first purse. I don't see a name on it. The last one I found a coach one. This one has. Prescription pills and stuff. Get ourselves a mystery box. Well, paid ten bucks for a shoe, and it's got to be like two dollars or three dollars in napkins. Now I could probably just go to Wendy's and buy napkins, or just take the napkins. But now I don't have to buy them from the grocery store. I don't have to have Wendy's or McDonald's stamped on my napkins. So you got about two or three bucks in brand new napkins there. This looks like just assorted bits of coffee stuff. You got a coffee maker, coffee filters down at the bottom. And uh, I've never, oh wow. Now I don't, don't drink coffee, but I imagine this stuff is probably not cheap. Probably like what, four or five dollars for this box? It's two of them, so that's ten dollars retail. Columbia, Starbucks coffee. All right, what is in this box? On the world. So it looks like we have a blender. Can't go wrong with a blender. Oh, it's all that black stuff around it, and maybe a dress or two. No, those are pants. I ain't dress. I thought I saw something that was like all bedazzled. These are just pants. So I end up pretty much either selling the, there it is. Uh, I end up selling all the clothes. I just make a pile up at the flea market if it's anything that's just like generic clothes. Um, or I end up donating it. I don't throw away clothes. I just throw it into one of those bins because I know it goes to a rag house or it goes somewhere. Uh, that can be reused into something, whereas if you just throw it out, it's just gone forever. But 
I don't know, maybe that blender works. This looks like just paperwork. Makeup stuff, paperwork, mirror, towels, mouth rinse. Q-tips. All right, managed to find a couple gift cards here. Not sure, I mean, the receipt's here. Yeah, the gift cards are not attached. Um, but I'll let you know if there's any money still left on this. I don't really use Google Play, but um, I'll probably have to sign in to see if there's any money left on these gift cards. If you guys wanna find out if there's any money left on these, these were $50 each, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe down below. I will certainly let you know in the future what's the end result of this. Uh, I know a couple other YouTubers do like trash picking and dumpster diving and they do all like gift card stuff. Um, and then they let you guys know what's still on it. And people still throw away money, but found gift cards. We'll see. I feel like, I feel like I'm also like matching the color of these bins pretty close. If you ever need a pair of shoes. Oh my god, this person just loves shoes. Look at all these. Wow. It's a lot of shoes. Wow. You can have a different pair of shoes for every night. For every day. Day and night. You can alternate. It's a lot there, but it's heavy. Hair dryer. It's a lot of clothes, lots of shoes. If I can open it. Want to twist ones. All right, down to one more luggage, three more bins. Probably one of the cleanest units I've ever bought. There's not garbage everywhere. The last time I bought, there was tons of kids' toys scattered everywhere. Oh, looks like more shoes. I'm gonna have a field day at the flea market with clothes. That is one thing for sure. They don't smell that bad either, you know. Not a big sniffing shoe kind of person, but um, usually whenever you find shoes and clothes, they kind of have like a really bad smell. Bought one unit in, in uh, New Jersey once. It was bad. The smell of it smelled all the way back because you got to throw it in the van. Uh, these don't smell too bad, so I think someone definitely can use them. And now we have jeans, shorts, bras over there. Mystery bin here. Mystery luggage here. Uh, that looks exactly like what it said. More clothes. I'm gonna have a field day of clothes. This must be all the winter stuff. Vintage? No. Oh. Let's see if there's anything in there. Got a hat. Got oh some jewelry. Save the best for last, it looks like. I don't know what, what those are. What? 
Is this a hat? I don't know if this is a hat or a glove. It's a weird... So whoever had this stuff really enjoyed fur. Let's see if there's anything in any of these. Probably not. These satchels and purses. What world's this? Well, it's like a crock pot, I think. Wow. This is really nice. Not my style by any means, but this is really nice. It's got a lot of weight to it also, but it's not filled with gold coins. Ah. So I'm going to do very well with this unit. The nice thing about this... Oh. The nice thing about ever buying a unit that's clean is you can usually sell pretty much all of it. This might have some stuff in it. That's just a belt. This has some weight. Just paperwork. Uh, but most of the time you buy some of these storage units, you're going to have a lot of garbage. And this one, fortunately I will not have that much garbage. Alarm clock, two dollars. So let's check out some of these and see if there's anything hidden inside. That's belt. Old iPhone. Empty. Twenty years of the Oprah show. Wonder if this has any value. It might. Some people love Oprah. Some people hate Oprah. You never hate anyone in society. What's that? So in some cases, uh, some of these units, I know of other people who have got, you know, a bunch of wallets and purses and stuff, and it's been filled with stuff. In some cases, they're empty. some cases, they're full. Um, anything personal has to be... Anything personal usually is just brought back to the front desk. Looks like the last one is going to be Mer... Looks like the last one is going to be uh, more furs. The uh, the unit of furs, the unit of clothes. We've got plenty of inventory and definitely at least five dollars or ten dollars worth of stuff. We've got suitcases on top of suitcases. Wow. You gotta also check all these pockets, but they feel empty. Yeah, they're empty. Very, very loud place also. Echo. All right, and just like that, another storage unit cleaned out. Stay tuned for many more storage units in the future. As you guys see, there's nothing left but a spot stain. Um, but stay tuned for many more storage unit cleanouts in the future. I'll be doing a bunch more here in the fall. Um, and plan on continue to do it for whatever, um, you know, so uh, if you guys are interested in this uh, kind of content You haven't already make sure to subscribe down below and uh, if you guys enjoyed the video Make sure you hit the like button so I know you guys are still enjoying this kind of content always a fun always a blast I think for ten dollars. It was definitely a good unit uh, And now this facility can now rent out this to someone who will pay on their unit and will not abandon it. So um, Yeah, I think uh, I think that's gonna wrap it up here Finally completed a clean out and uh, we'll see what happens next time who knows what adventure we'll get into. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.